Hi, Jody here from Healing Journey, www.healingjourneyservices.com. So today I want to talk to you about a special activity that I'm running for the new year um, because I know a lot of people like to reset. In January, you've probably spent um, the last couple of weeks engaging in all sorts of foods. That was really lovely. And now you're wondering how you reset things. So I'm really happy to announce a great way to reset, which is to join my five-day sugar-free challenge. So I'm offering this challenge for free, um, so it's super easy to sign up. I have the link below here in the chat, so you can definitely head on over, type in your email, and the challenge starts January 14th, so you have some time to get things together. Um, so basically what the challenge is, is it's more information about sugar, about healthier alternatives to refined sugars about different strategies for cutting sugar out of your diet. There's lots of awesome information in it. And there's also a five-day meal plan. So sometimes when you think about cutting sugar, it can be really overwhelming. What am I gonna eat? How am I going to address the cravings? I can't do it. Um, maybe you've tried it in the past and failed or not been super successful. And that's why I do this challenge as a group. Um, so I wanted to spend a bit of time talking about sugar. Um, so what is sugar exactly? So sugar is a simple carbohydrate which consists of monosaccharides or disaccharides and can be found in fruit, cane sugar, honey, sugar beets, and lactose, among other things. So monosaccharides include glucose, fructose, and galactose, and they consist, like mono suggests, of one sugar molecule. And these sugar molecules are pretty easily digested and absorbed. So disaccharides consist of two monosaccharides put together, and they can be things like uh, sucrose, which is table sugar, lactose, which is the sugars from milk, and maltose. Um, so the stats I have are a little bit old. They're from 2004. Um, but basically, I want you to take a minute and guess the average. So just think about it in your head, the average um, number of table teaspoons uh, the Canadian consumes every day. So how many teaspoons do you think a Canadian would consume every day? So if you said 10, I want you to think higher. If you said 20, I want you to think higher. So the average Canadian actually consumes 26 teaspoons of sugar each day. That's disgusting. Um, and so what happens when we consume large amounts of sugar is our taste buds actually lose the sensitivity to that sugar and so we have to keep upping the amount of sugar that we intake in order to get that kind of sugary sensation. And so what happens when we do that is foods like fruits that have amazing natural sugars and then no longer taste sweet because we lose our sensitivity to that. So all the healthy foods aren't necessarily, that are nature's way of being sweet, aren't something that you crave when you've had too much sugar in your diet for a long period of time. So five days is a great way to start to eliminate sugar. You actually want to do this for about three weeks to officially reset your taste buds again. And then when you've done it for three weeks, you can have things like um, fruit strawberries always come to my mind because they're one of my favorite fruits. Um, and you're going to start to feel that sweetness come back again. So that's a key to kind of resetting your sugar cravings. What else is happening when you're getting rid of sugar is you're starving off some of the bacteria that's feeding off the sugar. So your cravings may go down significantly. Usually there's a bit of a period where the cravings intensify. There's kind of that desperation for whatever you're feeding in your body and that's using that sugar and then eventually they'll taper off. And so I know I, I don't really eat a lot of refined sugar myself and um, I notice when I eat something that has even just little amounts of sugar how sweet it is because I've actually managed to reset my taste buds and you can too um, so let's talk about some of the health consequences if you're still not motivated to do a five-day sugar-free cleanse let's talk about some health consequences um, so blood sugar imbalances um, and diabetes obviously everyone pretty much knows that um, sugar 
Excess consumption of sugar has been linked with leaky gut, so causing gut issues. It's also been um, linked with appetite disruption and storage of fat, which is probably not surprising either. This is an interesting one, um, displacement of vitamin C from cell receptor sites. So then it's going to impact the effectiveness of vitamin C, which you may notice um, if you eat sugar when you have a cold, um, your immunity is affected or your body's ability to fight is affected. And that's because one study showed that 100 grams of sugar decreased the immune system by 54% for up to five hours after the person ate sugar. So I'm just going to say that again. 100 grams of sugar reduced your immune system by up to 54% for five hours after eating that sugar. Um, so that's about 26 teaspoons of sugar. Um, but it still gives you a sense of how the immune system's impacted with that. So if you want to look at, um, think of another example of sugar. So look at a pop, a can of pop, I think has something like 40 grams of sugar in it. So if you drink a couple cans of pop, like you're reducing your immune system by 54%. So I don't know if it's linear, but if you drink one can of pop, it's obviously going to have an impact on your immune system as well. It's going to impact the flora, the good bacteria in your gut, and it's going to lead to candida overgrowth. So a lot of people that crave the sugar, they've done the sugar-free diets and there's still mad cravings going on. Oftentimes that's because they're feeding candida, that candida wants the sugar and you haven't quite killed off the candida. So so usually I say to people, you know, if you're still craving it after you've cut it out, then you need to dig deeper for gut bugs. And obviously there is an increased risk of death um, associated with cardiovascular disease, um, which has also been linked with excess sugar consumption. So there's lots of reasons for you to try this five-day sugar-free um, cleanse. And then throughout the cleanse, we're going to be talking about um, different uh, healthier ways to consume sweet things. So it's not like you need to cut out anything sweet forever and ever. Amen. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them below. But I would love to see you as part of this. I'm actually going to do a bit of a giveaway, um, $25 gift certificate or a free test with me um, during the five-day challenge, January 14th, so next Monday. Um, so get yourself prepared and sign up today. Thank you very much and have a great evening.